Today on Toy Shiz, we're heading back to the Big Apple, 3 a.m., let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys. And today, we're checking out their brand new Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time Arcade Series video game line. This is their Baxter Stockman, straight from level one of Turtles in Time. Look at that gorgeous artwork right there. Always so good with the packaging, right? All the original arcade artwork every which way all over this box. This is a really nicely done, out of all the arcade stuff that they've come out with, it just really brings out the video game nature of this. Seeing all the cross sells, Pirate Bebop and Rocksteady, it looks like the SNES game. What I remember, all the people involved with the making of this figure, open it up, you get to see the figure, you get a nice photo of Baxter Stockman, this is a very bright, very colorful, very much the video game Baxter Stockman. And again, I'm very excited to check this guy out. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Baxter Stockman from the NECA Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time arcade slash SNES game classic. Let's check it out. And of course, here's Baxter all out of the packaging, and surprisingly, you don't really really notice it firsthand when you're opening the flap to the box, and you just kind of look at it, and you're going, okay, yeah, there's Baxter Stockman, I see a few hands, I see a few weapons, but he actually has a lot going on, and once you have the figure out, you're like, oh, I see what they did here, they made one heck of a mutant fly man, it's actually very cool, and I love that he comes with extra hands, so you get really nice fisted fly hands, really nice pinky purple to him, open hands as well, really nicely done, and then you get a couple weapons straight from the video game, so you have more of his machine gun, you could say, slash goo gun, and then you got the more handheld gun, again, spitting out a goo hand, or a goo blob, or a punching goo, or whatever anyways but the goo is actually part of this set and how cool is that it even has the outstretched hand it has all those really cool graphics that they do for the video game series and you can attach this into the guns itself you just kind of have to wiggle it in there but it looks cool it's like straight from the game so again this makes me happy i love when they go the extra mile just be careful on this peg piece you will sort of strip off the paint it's unfortunate but at least that's the end that goes into the various guns and just be careful i wouldn't say anything's gonna break or anything like that but just go slow you never know you just want to keep it uh, safe just something to look out for but i love this it's a very heavy hand it is articulated in that sense but it comes with its own stand as well because of its heft. And he actually comes with a stand as well. And you can do all kinds of crazy action with it. And just an FYI, yeah, we're going to... I'll set this all up towards the end. You get this little hook right here. A lot of the NECA stands have this. But it holds Baxter Stockman well. Especially if you're going to be utilizing him for those video game scenes. Recreating it. Fighting the Ninja Turtles. Shooting at the goo gun kind of thing. So... In that sense, it's nice that they included these several stands to really make that scene happen. But the real magic is, of course, Baxter Stockman himself. No reuse here from, let's say, the cartoon Baxter Stockman. This is its own video game incarnation. Really nice paint every which way. You will get some paint fleck here and there. And as I say with all NECA toys, you might want to heat them up. But I had no problems with the joints Nice head articulation. I love that the mouth opens and closes. You can see the uvula. He's got one tooth. He's got his tongue. He's got a little bow tie right here. The paint is really nice. Some of the joints can be kind of stuck here and there. Nothing that didn't move or feel like I was going to break anything. But just keep in mind, I always say with NECA toys, better to heat them up than to break anything. So just FYI, he does have a semblance of an ab crunch underneath that. So that's really cool to see and he will spin at the waist. The one bummer right here is in the crotch piece, much like the Rat King from the cartoon series. If you push up on the rubberized piece of his crotch, you will start to see the paint kind of stretch. So that's kind of a bummer because that's something I don't want to ruin 
But if you go too high, yeah, you will crack the paint on that. He has double jointed knees, which work really nicely. I love his tattered blue pants. Kind of loose right here on this one leg. The other one is pretty solid. Not loose in the sense you can't stand, but just something, yeah, that points out for mine. Nice ankle rock, nice up and down on the back side of the figure. His little extra arms right here have rotation. His wings will rotate. They'll go up and down. And what's really nice is that you can put all of these down and then kind of have him walk around like in the video game where they're kind of straight back. So a lot of articulation in this guy and a lot that meets the video game needs. In terms of his height, he goes nicely with the other Turtles in Time bosses like Leatherhead. He's taller than the Turtles. Most of the time I think about, he's kind of crouched down in the video game, but he scales nicely, I think. And then you have the old Playmates Baxter Stockman, and you can see the differences. You can also see the similarities, but growing up and seeing the cartoon, the comic books, the video games, everything really had its own thing going on for the most part, but it's cool to see the differences, much like the cartoon Baxter Stockman. I'm glad that they didn't repaint this guy to be this video game turtle. It just really wouldn't have worked once you see him, even though I will say, while he does have some instances that remind me of the cartoon turtles, this Baxter Stockman always stands out to me before playing the video game. It was just a blast, and speaking of which, yeah, here's my original Turtles in Time copy. I used to play the heck out of this. If you're not familiar, Turtles in Time was a Super Nintendo slash arcade classic. I mostly played SNES, but on the off occasion I was in the arcade, totally wasted some quarters on this, that's for sure. But he appeared in the Big Apple 3 a.m. scene one, level one, and he was the end boss. He'd just kind of hover there and shoot out the hand glue gun. I don't know why... When you do look at this figure, he may not exactly resemble, I guess in my mind's eye, because of he's more hunched over, I think the neck of toys expands upon this a little bit. So while I will say maybe the colors don't exactly line up with how he looks in the game, he does have that bright color aspect. He has the articulation that meets the needs of putting him in these stands and firing off the weapons and such. So it's kind of taking a little bit of the game and then really expanding upon it and making a really cool figure out of him. Later down the road, they did do that TMNT Turtles in Time reshelled game where they made everything 3D. The game was okay, but really the old instance of Baxter Stockman is classic. Plus, he also showed up as a background character in the Tournament Fighters. Oh yes, he did. So blow on those cartridges and make sure you play this game ASAP. Here he is lined up with some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. As you can see, get him in those video game poses like he's crouched around, ready to fire on him, moving back and forth across the screen. But it's really when you get him in the stand, have the glue gun attached, fighting the Ninja Turtles, this is where the magic happens. So you really get to recreate the scene, plus the background for the box insert has the Krang android. You can hear the bzzz, you know. So he really shows the detail the thought process of what NECA Toys was really going for, and I feel like they nailed it in all instances. So while this Baxter Stockman does have a few issues here and there, you don't want to crack the paint around his crotch, I'd say always heat up the joints so you don't want anything to break or stick or anything like that. But really, this is a great action figure and another great figure for their arcade line. I know that this line doesn't really get a whole lot of attention but it is one of my favorite ones that they do. I love the cartoon Turtles. I do like the movie Turtles, but the arcade is in the middle right there because it just reminds me of all the memories playing the video game, going in the arcade, playing the heck out of it on my Super Nintendo. It's just a whole lot of fun, and they look like they're having fun making these by the figures that they produce, with all the weapons, the accessories, and whatnot. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this dude. Turtles of Time, Baxter Stockman. Is he for you? Will you be picking him up? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Turtles in Time. And thank you again to NECA Toys for sending this over to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, Big Apple, 3 a.m. Classic. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. 